hello everyone in this video let us take a look at uh, org mode publishing to basically publish a website using org mode so in this video let us uh, talk about uh, publishing using uh, org mode so we will probably talk about the fundamentals of uh, org mode uh, in uh, future videos but uh, today i wanted to talk about uh, uh, how to publish a website how to basically uh, make uh, a blog kind of a site using your org mode so there is a feature called as publishing and if you want to read the documentation you can uh, take a look at this uh, documentation here where you have the information about how to configure your project so basically when you have to publish you have to uh, use a project here or maybe uh, multiple projects and uh, if you read the documentation here you will uh, be able to uh, understand how to do it uh, properly you have to spend some time playing with uh, different configurations and uh, there are some blogs online that will really help you so today what i will do i will show you my uh, configuration file and i will show you my workflow so first of all this is my blog that i am uh, building and this blog is actually on online it is uh, ravi.pro this is my blog and uh, if you look at the blog itself the blog is uh, not really very fancy as compared to my drupal site but i want to keep it simple i want uh, things to be very simple and uh, neat and of course it is uh, the first uh, version it is still not complete i will uh, add more content and i will make it more meaningful but i think i'm in a good state where i can start adding content so if i click on the site map i can uh, take a look at ev everything like all the files that i have in my uh, in my blog and i have different blogs so my second blog my first blog and so on and uh, on top there is a link called home so basically it's nothing but uh, simple html files but the way i am uh, writing this uh, is in my org file so if you have already experience using uh, org mode uh, you can potentially also blog or uh, create a website so when you are creating a document in org mode you also have the option to publish it as an html file so it is all about if you look at uh, this uh, directory structure here i have a directory called as blog then uh, when i look at my root i have uh, some files like contact index and sitemap now sitemap is automatically generated index is something that i uh, of course uh, want to manage myself contact page is nothing but a static page so of course most of the files are static there is nothing dynamic in it except uh, the sitemap file which is uh, automatically generated for me and uh, I, I keep my css in the css folder i keep my images in the images folder and uh, my blogs go into blog so basically it's nothing but a simple html file like very basic but how do i generate html out of it automatically so if i show you on the left hand side my uh, my file my emacs uh, configuration file uh, the thing that i need to configure is uh, this one my project list uh, my, my my project list here project a list so the first so the the way it works is that you need to create uh, different projects and right now i have a project called as home and if i look at this uh, home project i have a base directory so this base directory is uh, matching to the directory on the right hand side which is ravi.pro and i am also specifying my publishing directory my publishing directory is uh, the directory where i am uh, publishing my html files and uh, recursive means that i am trying to generate html uh, for all the org files in this directory and uh, i'm basically doing simple org html publish to html so this is basically uh, uh, a way to export your file your org file as an html file and i'm also generating this sitemap here where i can uh, update this file called as uh, sitemap.org and i am also adding some links so basically these are some uh, 
configuration set you can set and i'm doing it for my home which is nothing but the root directory but i can also do it for my blog directory same thing i mean nothing different but i am doing it separately i am focused on blog directory only and uh, of course when you run this project like the home project and the blog project it will take the org files and it will generate the html file and it will copy the html file in this uh, publishing directory uh, folder which is of course on my computer but also you can do it remotely uh, i'll talk about how to publish it online uh, without any hosting uh, fee you can actually publish it on a custom domain for free so let us talk about it in a in a moment then i'm also publishing my images so if i have any new images uh, in my um, in my directory where i am trying to maintain my org files and build a website trying to build a website i can also copy the relevant images and css so basically what i'm doing eventually i am running this project called website so this website project has a different components like uh, generate all the all the files in the main root directory then generate all the html files for my blog folder also copy my images and css uh, and css so when i do this when i run this uh, basically uh, the, when i run this uh, command so there is a command called as uh, i mean it's very simple you, you just need to press uh, alt x or meta x on mac it is escape x and then type in uh, org publish so it will basically publish it for you and then you, you need to specify the project name so my project name is uh, uh, website so right now i'm doing it for uh, uh, my project website which is of course looking at uh, the directories under my ravi.pro folder and there is a command for doing it uh, it is uh, control c control e uh, i need to of course mo open one of my the, uh, one of the file here so if i open my index.org i can uh, do a change here maybe you know just a sl slight change like uh, showing a demo and i'll press control f to save my file and if i press now control c control e and capital p followed by x and then i can specify my project name so basically i'm doing the same thing but you know i'm doing it uh, uh, using a shortcut and now it will uh, publish the file it will basically create a new file for me uh, with the change uh, one more thing let us say if you're doing it for uh, maybe you want to publish so because when you do this it will only publish the files where there is a change but maybe you want to publish or maybe you want, you want to re regenerate the whole file whole site again so what you can do you can press ctrl u followed by escape x and then type in org publish and then uh, your name of the project so it will uh, basically uh, create the whole site again now if you take a look at uh, the the uh, file on local so i do have this file uh, this website on local i'll probably open it so this is the the um, site on local and you can see here on top it says uh, showing a demo so there is a change and uh, the site is now showing me um, new content now how do i publish it how do i um, how do i basically move this to my domain so there is one way of doing it you can just do it manually transfer the file to ftp and uh, uh, or ssh you can actually do it by using by specifying the credentials and uh, the transfer mechanism in your emacs dot uh, basically dot emacs file or you can do it in a, in a smarter way you can actually use uh, your git so if i look at my uh, github uh, not give github uh, i'm not using github sorry uh, if i if i do a git status i can see that you know there are some changes and uh, what i can do now i can um, commit these files uh, so i'll basically do a commit and uh, doing a demo and uh, i can see that you know there is a change in uh, my file uh, and i'll probably just uh, commit 
this. I just committed it, but I'll uh, also push it to the server, I believe, to my uh, to my repository. So I'll do origin master. And uh, basically, I'm now pushing my changes to my GitHub, which actually failed. So it says updates were rejected because the remote contains work, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so I need to basically uh, there is a con con conflict, so I'll probably do git stash, come on, and I'll uh, pull now, okay, so it says the pulling is not possible because you have unmerged files, so now I will uh, try to push it again if I can, let us see, because my repository was uh, actually bit ahead ah uh, okay so I, I did a git stash and it says uh, needs merge needs merge and uh, so on so let me just uh, fix it so I just uh, fixed my my uh, git problem and what I will do now I will uh, move to my git uh, lab a repository so if i look at uh, this uh, repository i just uh, did some change and uh, my repository is now probably showing me uh, the new f new content if i look at my index.html so i believe it should say somewhere uh, that i'm doing a demo i believe so yes showing a demo so this is the new content that i added but if i look at the ci cd uh, the pipeline what it is doing is that there is a job that will basically deploy my changes to my do, uh, to basically uh, so basically it is deploying a site for for me and uh, using GitLab you can actually deploy a site a static site of course not really uh, not really a paid uh, uh, I mean it, it will be a static site I'm, why I'm saying paid basically it is a free service that you can use if you want and uh, uh, you can host your your static static files like site with static files and uh, uh, it is something like uh, github pages uh, and i believe you can also do that on uh, bitbucket on bitbucket you're not allowed to use custom domains on github um, i'm not sure whether you can do the same thing uh, whether you whether it can uh, support any static file i think it, it only supports uh, jekyll if i'm not sure uh, Jekyll or Jekyll, uh, I don't know how to pronounce it, but on GitLab you can have your own custom uh, custom uh, static uh, uh, site. And for doing that, what you need to do when you uh, commit your commit your when you do your first commit, you need to add one file here called uh, GitLab dot not dot but GitLab slash uh, not slash GitLab hyphen ci dot yml and uh, the content of the file is something that you don't need to worry about you just need to click on uh, a template on top i can probably show you so there is a template called um, html so basically when you add this file uh, you have the option to select this uh, html template and when the moment you do it you are done so basically um, the moment you do a commit it will pick up uh, a change for you any change that you're that you're committing and now if i see here that my job actually passed so it means that my latest changes were deployed and if i go to my ravi.pro site which is uh, my live site i don't really have any op i mean first let us look, take a look at the site uh, which is uh, on local and that site is this one and I can see here that it says showing a demo. Hopefully, it should reflect if I go back to my live domain and if I do a refresh. Uh, now we have the new content. So what we did in this video, we learned how to use Emacs org mode to publish your org files as HTML as a proper uh, website if you want to make it as a website and also learned how to uh deploy it on a custom domain and if you want to do the same thing you can go to gitlab.com you can sign up and you can uh, definitely um, 
host your static website for free and don't really worry about the content here this is something that i wanted to basically link link, link th those two things together you can definitely use uh, so there are two things if you are um, the first part was emacs or mode and publishing so you can generate a f generate files html files or maybe a website and uh, host it yourself on your own server the second part was that if you want to use GitLab, you can also use GitLab to host your site for free on a custom domain uh, that can be managed by your uh, your repository and uh, you can also link them together. So I hope you found uh, this video useful and you learned something new today. Thank you very much.